Hello! This is a short video showing you how to submit an item to an assignment in Schoology. This item has already been saved and worked on, and it is in your Files app on your iPad. If you are not submitting from your Files app or you do not know how to work from those, look for the other videos in this series to help you. Okay, we are submitting now. The, the work is finished. It is ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do is open the Schoology app. If you are using the Schoology website, stop that. Get the Schoology app, get it to work, and use the Schoology app. It works much better. Okay. Now, my Schoology app is here at the bottom of my screen. If yours is not at the bottom of your screen, it may be somewhere else. If you do not know where it is, then simply put your finger anywhere on the screen where there are no apps and pull down to get the search bar. And type in Schoology. And look, it finds Schoology for you. That's what I want, so I'm going to tap on it. And it opens. Now, first thing I need to do is find the, the assignment that I want to assign it to. So I am going to tap on the three bar menu on the upper left. I'm going to find the calendar. You can see the upcoming assignment. So if the assignment you want is there, you can pick it right from there. The one that I want is not there because it's an old assignment. So I will tap on my calendar and I know the assignment that I want to, to submit to is on the 11th. So I will tap on the 11th and there's the assignment that I want at the bottom of the screen. It is integer values. So I will tap on integer values. I see info and submissions. I want to submit, so I will tap on submissions. Now it sees that I have not yet made any submissions. If I have made submissions and I'm going to, to submit again, it doesn't make any difference. You will just see your old ones here but the procedure is exactly the same. First, I will hit the plus sign in the upper right corner of the screen, and it opens up a series of choices. I'm going to submit from iOS apps, so I tap on that. It opens up the folder. I don't want that. I want on my iPad, and then I know the item is in my math folder, so I will tap on the math folder, and there's the finished worksheet, integer comparison. I just finished it, so I'll tap on it. I hit submit. It uploads, and there it is. Now you think that you're finished, and you are sort of, but there's a problem. Let me show you the problem first. I'm going to tap on this worksheet, and you'll notice that my work disappears. I have to do one more step, and this is the second step. I hit the share button, which is in the upper right corner. It is a rectangle with an arrow coming out of it. I am given two choices. If notice share original document says the annotations will be hidden. That's the problem right now. The annotations are hidden. Share converted PDF, the annotations will be visible. That's what we want, so I'm going to hit Share Converted PDF. Now, I want to save this, so I'm going to hit Save to Files. It calls it that. I want to put it in my math folder because I always want to keep things for math in the math folder, and I hit Save. Now it's saved in a new format where the annotations will be visible. I have to hit the backup button and the X. Next, I want to go back one step. Notice there's the old revision, the old submission. I want to make a new submission, so I will hit the plus sign. And I want to submit from iOS apps. 
and I don't want the integer comparison file anymore because that's the one where the annotations were hidden. I want the one that's brand new and it has a number for a name. That's the one where the annotations are visible. So I will tap on that and I will hit submit. And there it is. It is revision two. Notice I'm going to open it so that you can see it. And look, there's the work showing. And that is how to submit to Schoology with a file that you have created on your iPad and worked on. If you have any questions, please send a message to your teacher. And that's all. I hope that you understood. Bye.